Our country has reached a grim milestone. The United States marked the deadliest six months of mass shootings in nearly 20 years. Today, a local nonprofit hosted an active shooter response training to teach community members to spot the risks and know what to do if the worst happens. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett was there and explains how you can protect yourself. The training was hosted here at Gleaning for the World, and it was free and open to the community. Organizers tell me it's not about instilling fear. Instead, it's about prevention. From January 1st to June 30th of this year, the United States lost 140 lives in 28 mass killings. All but one involved guns. Unfortunately, that active shooter attacks are a reality. Friday, Marco Galbraith, the owner and instructor at T4 Tactics in Lynchburg, teamed up with Gleaning for the World to host an active shooter response training for the community. We want to let people uh, from churches, businesses, facilities, even in our personal lives, know that I got to, if I see something, I need to say something. Act on that gut feeling. Galbraith says stay aware of your surroundings and get out of a dangerous situation as soon as possible. We're in a violent society, and it's sad. It's a mental illness issue is what it is. Howard Gregory, a retired Virginia State Police Captain and head of the safety team at Liberty Baptist Church, attended the training. His takeaway, if you see something, say something. To bring it to the attention of the proper authorities, be it the... Uh, uh, human resources division at work, a principal at a school, if the school's there, or to law enforcement. With just a couple weeks left until students return to the classroom, Galbraith emphasizing the need for prevention even at an early age. We should also have programs where kids aren't bullied. Empowering everyone in the community to take action. You fight with everything you have because you're fighting for your life. But prevention, these t attacks can be prevented through proper training and awareness and then mitigation. Reporting in Concord, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.